why it is important when you are working with LED Strip Studio software, whenever you are creating the mapping, to lay down your strips as they are real, real life, as they are positioned in real space. I've got a couple of examples here, a couple of issues that we will rectify together. As you can see, I'm playing a simple animation gradient going from the top to the bottom. On my first long line, you can notice that the animation is much slower compared to the segments next to it. So that's the first issue. On this long segment, you can notice that as the animation progresses, it pauses for a little bit and then continues down. And on my third long segment over here, you can notice that the animation is much faster compared to those profilet pixel bars next to it. These are all issues that are very easily rectifiable in the software, namely in the mapping section. Once I will open it, you will notice a couple of mistakes probably straight away. If I will select my first long line, the segments are supposed to be the same length. So very easy to rectify. I will simply move my end points so that they will align and the animation will be fluent on my first line. The second issue where the animation pauses for a bit and then continues is caused by the gap between the two segments. So very easy again to rectify. I will simply move my end point. Everything is now lined up. For the third long line, if I will open the segment, they are supposed to be the same length. That is why the animation is much faster. So again, I will simply make them the same length. And voila, everything is now running as it's supposed to. If you're looking for more pro tips on how to work with our Profilet Pixel Bars or LED Studio software, make sure to follow our channels.